I pushed my vote for John Kerry. Immediately, the vote jumps up and lights up the name of George Bush. Well, I screamed. One serious touchscreen malfunction reported widely in 2004 was vote switching. Voters would select one candidate and their vote would switch on the screen to someone else. People were indignant or near tears because they had pressed Kerry when they were trying to vote and they, the machine itself lit up and said, Bush. Though there was little TV or radio coverage, election hotlines were getting reports of vote switching from at least 13 states. Mahoning County, Ohio, was one place where votes were switching on multiple machines throughout the day. Well, I voted for Kerry. And when I got to the final page on this computer screen to say who my final votes were for, it came up Bush. I pushed the square for John Kerry, and I almost went on to the next page before I realized that it was lighting up George Bush. There was chaos when people were coming out and saying their votes didn't register right. They were angry. How, how are you reconciling the discrepancy? And right away, one of the aides ran over to me, and she says, oh, push it again. That's been happening a lot. As I was leaving, there were people that were asking the poll workers to help them because the same thing had happened to them. And I thought to myself, you're not real computer literate. Did you push the wrong button? Then when I got out into my car, I was thinking, no, something happened to me. Something happened to me. That, that machine is not right. A few months after the election, we had a gathering here at the church. We met in the church basement. And one of the things that we did is just ask how many people know someone, not just a story, but know someone. And just in that room, we knew 50 whose vote switched. When Senator Bob Hagan saw his vote switch from John Kerry to George Bush, he tried to report what had happened to Democratic headquarters. I touched uh, John Kerry, and as I touched it, it immediately went to Bush. I called the Kerry campaign, and uh, I said, I really think that this is a serious problem. We need to talk about this. You know, we should get it out. The press would be uh, interested in this. Most newscasters continued to ignore reports of vote switching, while concerned activists used the internet to bring attention to the issue. John Kerry. Hello, John Kerry. I mean, next. Are you sure? Yes. Yes. You don't want to not vote for John Kerry? No. John Kerry. Oh, come on. Okay, maybe I want to vote for George Bush. John Kerry! Ah. Uh, come here, you little dirt, John Kerry! Come here, you little dirt! What? No! In more than 90% of vote switching reports, votes cast for John Kerry switched on the screen to George Bush. There should be an expectation that the anomalies would fall kind of 50-50. Some would support one candidate, some would support the other candidate. They didn't seem to fall both ways. People tried to, to vote for Kerry and it flipped to Bush. So people ask me, is that possible? Would it be possible to program something like that? Well, absolutely. Vote switching not only overwhelmingly occurred in multiple jurisdictions, but also occurred on equipment programmed by different vendors. Something that favors one candidate that occurs all over the country and spans across equipment from multiple vendors is no simple accident. 